Hi, everybody. Uh, well, the change right as advertised, sunny and 71 on Sunday, cloudy and so far, much of the uh, Lama Valley, including Portland and certainly over at the coast. Uh, temperatures have stayed in the 50s due to the solid cloud cover that simply uh, has not broken, uh, broken rather, and, uh, and it's going to stay cloudy. In fact, showers are going to be picking up in the coming hours. Putting this together for you in the uh, four o'clock hour on this Monday. And here's the, the active Pacific. So uh, this is largely a forecast based on an active Pacific, but no big storms out there. No huge mountain snowmakers. No individual storms are going to bring just heavy rain or prolonged periods of rain or wind or anything like that. But moving forward, most days this week, well into next week, you're going to have some measurable rainfall. Right? See the little dip right here? This is the um, little wave that's pushing increasing showers inland at this hour on this Monday. And then the two lows out here are basically going to combine, um, but they don't really come through until Friday. So we're going to see some scattered showers tomorrow, but nothing really organized. It still makes sense to me that Friday afternoon we'll see an increasing push of rain as these lows combine and come through the area. And then Saturday's just showers. Sunday's just showers. What you see back in here with these lows behind them comes in on Monday and Tuesday. And then weather systems continue uh, coming in the back half of next week. So yeah, it, it all means kind of a typical weather pattern, nothing extremely active, extremely cold, but not much sun. And again, pretty much uh, every single day we're looking at is going to be looking at some measurable rainfall. So uh, here's another way to look at this. This has the upper level. Con this is the image we just looked at right here. You can see there's no lightning. I mean, there's lightning way back with the systems that come in the first part of the week. I do have this becoming increasingly unstable this Friday afternoon as these lows back in here start to come in. So maybe Friday afternoon, we hear a rumble of thunder um, and we certainly expect to get some heavier downpours, but again, nothing overly widespread and, and, and nothing that's, that's really going to be alarming in terms of how much rain comes down. But Friday will be the first chance to get some instability. Again, you see the lightning right here, that's gonna hold together and give us some heavier downpours coming in on Friday. Here's the radar right now, and these kind of bluish to green tones, this is all very light rain starting to move in. That's with that initial wave that we just looked at. You can see here on the wider satellite picture or radar as well. So if you have plans on this Monday evening, this is maybe up to five one hundredths of an inch of moisture. I mean, it's just not going to be much. Here's the American GFS model, and this is at 10,000 feet in the atmosphere, what we call the moisture saturation uh, level. Everything that's Dark green shaded is saturated atmosphere through 10,000 feet. Absolutely, when you're in the green area, you would expect solid cloud cover and a heightened chance of rain. So kind of the way the game's played. So this is this afternoon. Here's that thicker moisture, deeper moisture starting to move in. And we're seeing the, the showers on the radar right now. Um, and then watch the low back here. I'm just going to go ahead and play this. Through. Here's tomorrow afternoon. Notice the low still back here. We've got scattered showers. I think we get a sunbreak or two tomorrow. So tomorrow potentially is a little brighter of a day than we're having today. And then I'll just play this into Friday afternoon. I'll stop it. This is Friday afternoon. Now the surface front with this low is coming in. So that's heightened rain. Friday afternoon, I think for the first time, we will see rain picking up. Again, not a huge weather system, but unstable. So perhaps some heavy downpours that, that catch your attention. And then this low takes all day Saturday, the trailing low, to kind of work through. So here we are Saturday afternoon. You can see we're still in the rain zone. We got the, the low pressure systems trailing the cold front overhead. So that's occasional rain. Now we get into Sunday morning. Let me go ahead and, yeah, here's Sunday morning. Now see the white area. Now we're kind of getting in between moisture. Or at least we're getting in the thinner moisture areas. So the chance of rain not nearly as great. So right now, without question, for the weekend, Saturday looks to be a much wetter day than Sunday. Now, Sunday, you, you can uh, notice how, uh, hold on, I'm losing my, okay, there we go. Sorry, I'm kind of uh, messing around here with my zoom in, zoom out. So this would be, let me get my, let me get, I got, hold on, hold on, hold on. Forecasters losing control of the situation. Okay, I had, this one I need to get back to right here. So this is Sunday afternoon. Again, there's a shower chance, but you can tell right here we're clearly in between weather systems. 
again, here is Portland. I get that these maps are hard to see. Um, that's why I was kind of trying to zoom in on them a little bit. Uh, and then if I go ahead and play this into, here's Monday. This is actually a push of warm air and then a trailing cold front. So this probably would be some hours of fairly widespread uh, steady rain Monday morning. And then Tuesday, uh, Monday afternoon, it kind of breaks into showers. But here's Tuesday. There's still moisture. There's another system coming in Tuesday into Wednesday. So you can see it's just really on again, off again rain. There's a little break Thursday of next week. But then going into Friday, here we are Friday. And then the Saturday. So, yeah, this just keeps on coming one system after another. From time to time, the rain's, you know, fairly widespread as opposed to scattered showers. At times, I see some heavier rain amounts, but none of these systems are strong. None of them uh, I see coming with any weather watches, warnings, or advisories, with the possible exception of maybe a snow advisory up in the Cascades from time to time. But I don't see that. Uh, at the earliest, a snow advisory for the Cascades will probably pop up this coming Saturday. So, We'll see if the National Weather Service decides to do that. This shows you just how much rain is coming down, the National Blended Model. So right now through early tomorrow morning, this shows up to about two-tenths of an inch of rain at the coast, but traceable amounts to five one-hundredths in the valley. Again, pretty light stuff coming in. And then here we are into Friday morning. So Friday morning, now you're starting to see the, the heavier moisture starting to come in from that front and the low finally coming on shore. So by Friday morning, total rain from now through... Friday noon is reaching a half of an inch at the coast, but still a tent, uh, a little bit more, not much in the valley. Now, rain will pick up here in the valley Friday afternoon. And then by the time we get to Saturday at 5 p.m., now we've got total rain amounts between now and Saturday at 5 p.m. of a half of an inch of rain or more up and down the I-5 corridor, maybe nearing an inch at the coast. And then you can see the amounts up into Seattle, a little bit more. Seattle, while Portland's closer to a half of an inch, uh, Seattle's closer to about three quarters of an inch of rain. And the heaviest rain amounts down here in the southwestern coast of Oregon, 1.70 inches. And then I can go ahead. Remember, we had that fairly steady rain Monday. So now through Monday, now we're nearing an inch in the Willamette Valley. So anyway, the point of all this is there's just a little bit of light rain amounts today, not much tomorrow. Friday, the rain picks up. And sooner or later, all of our yards or gardens or what have you are going to start accumulating day after day after day some decent amounts of rain. So um, remember the outlooks through at least the first half of April, call for our weather to be normal to cooler than normal temperature-wise. That's daytime highs in the 50s to occasionally getting up into the 60s and above normal rainfall. Um, and we're not going to see that many days, that many 24-hour periods of no major rainfall. This is snow through the weekend. Notice snow levels way above the coast range. So you're not seeing anything here. You only see snow in the Cascades and the Blues. There's the Olympics right here. Now, at upper elevations of the crest of the Cascades, you've got a foot down in the southern Cascades of Oregon, and you've got seven, eight inches of snow accumulating up around Mount Rainier, uh, and then farther north up around Mount Baker. At pass level, so here's Mount Hood right in here. At pass level around Mount Hood, um, you're probably looking at somewhere like three, four inches of snow over the weekend. And then if you get up to five and 6,000 feet in Meadows and Timberline, maybe we look at six, seven, eight inches of snow, but not a lot. It just doesn't really ever get that cold, and the weather systems are generally kind of weak during the time where the colder air is moving in. So I know Oregon spring break is coming up this weekend, and here's my best guess. So tomorrow, nothing to a couple inches. Snow level is 4,500 to 5,000 feet. That's just rain at government camp. Friday, rain at government camp, so no snow to as much as four inches. Saturday now, behind that Friday front, snow levels fall to 3,000 feet. So that's maybe a few at government camp, as much as eight at Meadows and Timberline. One to four Sunday with scattered snow showers, 3,000 feet. And then Monday, snow, it could be a rain mix in the morning at government camp, 4,000 foot snow level, but maybe three to eight comes. So, I mean, no huge storm, but trying to get some decent snow amounts. My Mount Hood forecast sponsored by Hillcrest Ski and uh, Board Shop uh, out there in Gresham, by the way. Government camp, 42 degrees right now. Didn't warm up as much as I thought it would be. Uh, up on the mountain today. So certainly we're getting into a cooler batch of air. Here are the temperatures. Notice out east where it's been sunny, that warm air mass that Portland was in is now in Baker City. There's Baker City at 72. Look at that. Solid clouds and 50s here on the west side until you get down south into Medford, 61. Let's check on some temperature forecasts just around the region. Uh, tomorrow, mostly cloudy chance of showers in Medford, a high of about 60. Notice every day has a rain chance, mostly in the 50s. Okay.
kind of what we've been talking about. Central Oregon, sun in 64 right now. Tomorrow, sun in 59, mainly dry on Friday, 60. And then there will be, I think, some rain at times over the weekend in the Central Oregon if temperature is only around 50 degrees for a high. Uh, let's run up to Seattle where it's 50 degrees right now, running cooler than Portland. Every day has some rain, 56 tomorrow, 58 Friday, low 50s. Yeah, just kind of typical, kind of typical weather as you can see. And here are my numbers for Portland. So we will need some sun breaks to bounce up to about 62 tomorrow. If we don't get sun breaks mixed with scattered showers, then we'll stay in the 50s if it stays cloudy. But I think we'll get some sun breaks. Heavier rain we talked about picking up Friday. That'll keep us in the 50s. Rain at times, that upper level low overhead on Saturday, 55. Sun and scattered showers on Sunday. Um, the air mass is cooler, so I'm going to keep us at 56. And then we've got the rain at times picking up Monday, Tuesday, sun and showers Wednesday. Again, this is normal to slightly below temperature-wise for afternoon highs and normal to above normal rainfall. That's what the outlooks are calling for. All right. Uh, I'm meteorologist Rod Hill. PortlandWeather.com is my weather site. And if you haven't subscribed, I hope you will do so to my video. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.